What's up guys, it's Bob here today together with Daniel from the European team. Uh, today we're showing you how to do proper maintenance on your Super 73 bike. As you might know, the bikes are designed in the sunny and dry California. Uh, so if you're riding the bikes in uh, European or other wet climates, the bikes need some added care. Uh, and today we're showing the various precautions you should take in order to keep your bike in a perfect condition. So we're going to start with giving the Super 73 RX a good clean uh, and we start by covering up the display to avoid water infiltration. Make sure to never ever use a high pressure washer uh, on your bike as this may cause water infiltration or may damage any electrical parts on your bike. Clean your bike on a regular base using soapy water or any specific fast action cleaner you can find in your regular bike shop. Apply the product to the bike and let it soak for a few minutes. Make sure you use a set of soft brushes to avoid damaging the bike. For this time I'm going to use three brushes. I'm going to start with the big soft one to clean up the frame, the tires, the fork and all the big parts. Then I switch to this brush, this kind of brush, to clean the rims in between the spokes. And I finally finish with this kind of brush to clean up your back cogs and your chain. Now guys, the time has come to rinse off the bike for all the soap and time now to dry off your bike with a clean cloth or a microfiber. Once your chain is degreased and cleaned, make sure to dry it off with a dry cloth and loop the chain up. Time now to finish up your maintenance session using a protective film on your frame and all the other parts except your rotors and your brake pads. Be sure not to contaminate them. If you're using your Super 73 as a daily commuter in wet and rainy conditions, your bike is going to need a little bit more attention. Here are a few tips to get him through the rainy season. After a rainy ride, make sure to wipe it down with a clean towel to avoid all moisture on the bike and getting into the frame. Secondly, when you're riding in rainy conditions, water can splash up into your frame and you need to be sure to be able to drain your torque sensor. Locate the rubber plug under your torque sensor and remove it to drain any moisture that may have entered your bike frame to avoid damage. So for weather affected areas, this is a response or precaution you should take to avoid water building up in your torque sensor uh, and cause any damage. Uh, we're suggesting this precaution so riders perform regular maintenance on their bikes uh, and leaving the plug out will not cause any damage to the torque sensor or affect the performance of your bike in any way. So it's best of course to store your bike inside, but if you really insist on storing your bike outside, uh, we really suggest the take of the battery. Leaving the battery outside in cold and rainy weather uh, will affect its lifespan. Also, taking off the battery will make the bike less attractive for thieves. Uh, secondly, if you plan on storing the bike outside, make sure to use a rain cover. Uh, and finally, if you intend to lock it outside, make sure it's always locked to a sturdy object, like a building or attached to the ground. Uh, in the description under this video, we'll put a few links where you can find the storing outside equipment. The best way to ensure you cover all points on your bike is to start on top by the handlebars, go towards the bike down to the back wheel, come back to the front wheel and then you will have covered up all points. Start the process by checking your brake pads for wearing and tearing. Check the pressure of your levers if you ride hydraulic and of course check the tension if you ride with cables. At this time, check your external gear cable and also have a look if there's potential play in the head tube. Check for potential play in your button bracket and also have a look if there's no dirt or water building up into the torque sensor. Also check your front fork for any water and dirt built up. Check your tires for inflation and profile and make sure these are pumped up to two bar. Check your chain and check your sprockets for wearing and tearing and loop the chain with wet loop in wet conditions and with dry loop in dry conditions. 
Time now to perform an alignment check. See if you get broken spokes. Also, check the tension of your spokes and make sure all wheels are tightened. Time now to turn on the bike, test your horn and put on the light using the top button of your diamond display. And lastly, for peak performance, make sure the Super 73 app is up to date as well as the firmware. So at this point your bike should be all clean and ready to hit the road. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Um, if you want to see more of these type of videos, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.